Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel where I talk all things budget, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slash Squad by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon. This week's Slash Squad member of the week is Amy. Amy, thank you so much for showing your support all the way from Scotland. You can be featured in my next video by subscribing and following me on Instagram. Now, I'll admit I'm usually not a glossy lip formula lover, but even I can admit how awesome of a product the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polishes are. They've got a unique formula and the color payoff may surprise you, so let's get straight into swatches. First up, we're swatching Fearless Who? Next we have She's On Fire. This is Cherry On Top. Here's So Shady. This one is Power Up. This one is Birthday Suit. Here's Violet Frenzy. Here we have Berry Blist. Here's Game On. Here's Act Natural. This one's the one I'm wearing throughout the video. It's called Date Night. And lastly, we have Rule the World. All right, let's delve a little bit deeper into these lip polishes. And what does lip polish mean anyway? On the Revlon site, they call it a liquid lipstick. On the Ulta.com purchase page, it's called a lip lacquer. I feel like this is the perfect in-between of liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. You get the color payoff of a liquid lipstick. I mean, as you saw in the swatches, they are all pretty high impact. You get the shine of a lip gloss, but the texture is kind of in between slick and creamy. It's super comfortable. It actually feels a little bit balmy on the lips once it sets in its own way. And the formula is infused with vitamin E, so it's also moisturizing your lips as you wear it. I'm personally a little bit over matte lips right now, especially for summer. I do need a little bit more moisture in my lips. They get a little sensitive because of the sun. So this is a really nice way to add color and moisture and the shade just glide over my lips without settling into any of my lip lines. Now this formula is also feather proof and the way that it delivers on that claim I think really sets these apart because they didn't even feather when I overdrew my lips. A lot of glossy lip formulas claim to be feather proof but as soon as you leave the natural lip lines they just spread out. But these are fine line friendly so even as I kind of lifted my cupid's bow and rounded out my bottom lip there was no feathering. With that said these are not smudge proof or transfer proof so if you are eating or you're drinking there is a possibility that you yourself will smear the lipstick. So I ate lunch wearing the shade date night and I was surprised for a glossier product that tends to transfer easily how much color was still left on my lips and how even it looked. Of course, I understand that this is also one of the more neutral shades, so I might not have gotten such a great result if I was wearing one of the bolder shades and tried to eat with it. But the bright and bold shades do leave a stain behind, so that will help prolong the look of the color as it fades because there will be a little bit something left on your lips. Now, like I said, most of these apply completely opaque in one layer, no need to build up, but there were a couple that were a bit sheerer than the rest, one of them being this purple shade called Game On. I felt like I I did have to kind of layer it to get it to be as even as the others looked in just one swipe. That was also the case with the darkest shade in the collection, which is called So Shady, the dark burgundy brown. You do want to be careful to not apply too much of this product because if there's too much on your lips, it will kind of gravitate towards the inner section of your lips. If that happens to you, just take your finger and kind of smudge it outward towards the edges. It's a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how much is just the right amount, but once you get it right, these will look good and feel good 
on the lips without any sticky or thick feeling. The applicator is super handy as well and cuts down on the need to double dip because of the reservoir within the dough foot applicator. So there is this dip that helps scoop out product from the tube and hold it and apply it to your lips evenly so you can pretty much get all of your lips in one swipe. Now if you're sensitive to fragrance, these are scented and it's described as a mango vanilla scent. I actually didn't know there was a fragrance until I read the description online. As I was applying, I didn't really smell anything and just wearing it, I don't smell anything. But if you hold the wand up to your nose, you can definitely smell it. So for me, it's subtle, but everyone's sensitivity can be different. So just go into it knowing that there is a fragrance in this product. So as someone who usually doesn't gravitate towards glossy, shiny lip formulas, I actually really like these. And I think that's saying a lot because I am picky when it comes to lip gloss type products. There's definitely enough color payoff and the color lasts a pretty decent while considering that this is not transfer proof. And overall, it's just a very comfortable, enjoyable formula to wear. So tell me what was your favorite shade that I swatched in this video and then join me over here where I do a Lion King poster inspired makeup look. I'll see you over there. Bye.